Hey, hi, hello, this is Bush Bookie, and welcome to my channel. We are jumping into Act 5 of Kentucky Route Zero today. Um, this is the final act of Kentucky Route Zero, and I'm thinking it's probably going to be a two-part episode, so let's just go ahead and dive in. Um, if you have not seen the previous episodes to this game, I highly recommend you go back and watch them, because there is a lot to it, and I can't even just recap it all to you guys. It's a really interesting game, though. Well worth checking out. Well, that's pretty. Is that Ron? Give me just a minute. I'm afraid you carried more than your share. Now nah, I'm used to it. The TV TVs are pretty heavy too. I almost forgot about daylight, haha. -ha. I think it rained. Rained a lot, I mean. The worms are going to be out for sure. Have you ever heard a worm sing? They only sing if you trust, if they trust you without reservation. What do you think they sing about? Sitting about their friends? Other worms they like? You may be right, I don't understand them. So where is Five Dogwood Drive? I'll go scout ahead. Okay, holler if you find anything. I'm the cat? Why am I the cat? I love it! Ah, this is what I wanted the whole game to be! I don't understand why I'm the cat though. Like, that's weird. I've never been an animal in the whole game. Oh no. Did I get stuck in the barn? Oh, there I am. Okay. <laughs> I was panicking a little. <gasps> what happened to this cow? Or a horse? Oh. Oh, what do these people gotta say? Oh, wait, I know them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just taking one last look. Not much to look at, is there? Yeah, that was a bad one, but look at what it washed up in the mud. What is that, an animal bone? It's a pipe, I think. Super anxious. Probably a thousand years old. The people who made these mounds, they used to carve these. Why did they build this huge, um, dirt spiral?
Most of these ancient earthworks are thought to be burial mounds, but this one definitely isn't. To be honest, I don't know what it was for. It's like two people talking, but not to each other. Maybe they're on the phone? How are your eyes, Cricket? I just need to swap lenses and they'll be fine. You? Should we head back underground? Now let's see this through. Could be fun. Sounds like a cat. Can Okay. What you, what is this? What is this guy? You don't look normal at all. What are you? Are you a ghost? Am I the only one that sees this? They're talking about the airplane. I don't care though. What is this thing? Elmo gave Rita a tour of the cameras and wiring. She had just been through a certification certificate program on public broadcasting at the community college so no surprises there nikki showed her the video data bank james demonstrated the sandin image processor and ron came barreling in with an urgent expression rita had entered the public broadcasting program at flat trap lake community and technical college with a vague desire to be a newscaster one of her instructors got her excited about pirate television and she followed threads through the TV and activist communities until she found herself here somehow, volunteering at WEVP-TV. <laughs> You're fine. It wasn't quite the radical guerrilla television crew she dreamed of joining. This group seemed more interested in sharing the town's home movies than cultural... In then cultural jamming and interfering with corporate stations, but she liked the focus on local concerns. Ron's news was clearly bad news. Rita's heart sank a little as they listened. She knew things were unraveling. Knew from experience what that looked like. Will you stop? But as she listened to Ron detail the power company's sudden withdrawal from town affairs, she heard other possibilities. She studied their faces and found concern for sure, but also something like relief, hope, an awakening of play. Nikki looked like she may have something might have been daydreaming. These were people, Rita decided, ready to step out of the company's shadow and build something of their own. Ron said the TV station would still be founded by court order. Could that be their anchor? There's a whole group of them. Are they just muddy people? Six or seven meds stood in the sun about a dozen yards from the ditch, and he could hear them laughing. He tried not to hear them. Instead, he listened to the shovel punching through the dirt as he shaped the trench. It was wet dirt, mud really. It made a hungry sound as he shaped the trench walls. One man was louder than the rest. He had a nervous laugh that sucked up all the air around him. Here at the bottom of the hollow, there were patches of mud everywhere. Water pooled on the ground or just below the surface. That was the danger. The laughter quieted into greedy chuckles and he could feel the men approaching. I mean, I feel like I'm probably supposed to go up here, but I don't want to not explore around more first. This is honestly one of the biggest areas they've kind of given me to really just walk around in. 
And I get to be a cat. As somebody who has not gotten to actually play Stray yet, I feel like this is fulfilling something for me. I got to play a little bit of it, but it's it's gonna happen eventually. It just uh My fiance owns Stray and he has not moved in yet and it's on his PlayStation and I have an Xbox, so I figure I'm already way late to the game anyways, so Jordan scanned the shelf. He quickly found the book he was looking for. There was only a few dozen left. More shelves than books now. The result of an experiment called the New Selection. Privately, he called it the Purge. But only privately in small groups of reliable complainers. The unspoken rule was to hold back criticism as long as possible. Experiments need, needed time to unfold naturally without the interference of doubt. George would have preferred to complain more freely. Even the scheduled feedback circle sessions had been losing their teeth lately, he thought. A trend that con coincided with Frazier's increasingly central role in the community. Frazier proposed and executed experiments just like any other community member, but his experience had a scorched earth quality. They were all destructive. He moved from one area of community life to the next in search of excess to cut back. Lately, he turned his sight to the library. The new station meant, or new selection meant just decimating their store of books according to Fraser's own inscrutable criteria. Now we are guaranteed something vital every time we take a book from the shelves. No more time lost to printed shaft. Fraser's colorless voice echoed in George's mind. He felt like sp spitting. Instead, he tucked the book under his arm and set off for the road, or for the woods. They must have been pretty nice pigs if they let you ride them like that. I made myself light as a feather and they didn't even know I was there. Then what happened? That later I had to cross the desert of broken glass. The desert was strangely beautiful. The desert was every different color all at once. I was overwhelmed. I'll take you there if you want to see it. Maybe on Saturday. Okay. Did I tell you I discovered the place where all the garbage goes? I've always wondered... Does it get turned into dirt somehow? Oh no, it's much more exciting than that. There's a big fire at the center of the earth that's been burning basically forever. The fire grows bigger and bigger as we pile on more garbage. Someday it will burn out of control or all will be lost. I hung out with an old dog and some musicians. Then we both had quite an adventure. We should stick together. It's a nice idea, but you should stay with your friends. I think they still need your help. Another dead horse. 
This shouldn't have happened. We should have prepared better. All of us. But most of all, that damn company who built this place and left it only half built when they pulled out of the town. Damn shame. Who's this here? All I can read is better days. They put their better days to rest here? I wonder whose better days we're talking about anyway. The seer reclined high in a tree, carving fine details into a small wooden pipe. She'd done the bulk of the carving over hazy mornings with the stone worker. He smoked constantly. She only smoked when she was happy or very sad or bored. From this height, she could see the earth movers shaping the mounds under the draftsman's supervision. She could see him inspecting his plan, the drawing he's made from her game, the map. Think it'll rain anymore? Nah. I don't see any clouds. Hell, it'll probably rain anyhow. Just our luck. Oh, really? He thinks it's going to rain again tomorrow, haha. How does- what? Nah. I don't know, man. Animals have a sense for the weather. At first, I only observed the truck from a distance. It was an alien carcass, something that made more sense in death than in life. The company had dropped it off in the middle of the day when everyone was at the plant. They let it sit overnight, alone and strange. Nikki thought it was ridiculous, but Ron approved. To Elmo, the truck was simply beautiful. The town didn't produce much garbage anyway, she said. Why? Who would drive it? And where? The only road in town was the old airstrip. Everyone had to agree this was money and attention that would have been better spent addressing the town's drainage problems. Maybe finally get started on that damned messianic ditch. Which they had a few things to dispose of. Broken flower pots, empty glass bottles, clothes that didn't fit anymore. They gradually fell into the habit of collecting waste and carrying it to the truck. Once a month, some shadows would come in from the night woods and haul the garbage away on a cart. Okay. What kind of fish are those? They're goldfish. They they're goldfish. They eat algae and mosquito eggs. Very helpful. Sounds like a good job. Beats working for the power company. Haha, <laughs> what brings you to town? We're just dropping something off here. Oh, well, you better hurry up. They might already be gone. Off to... I'm trying to hurry up, but I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. I'm just not good at this. Kitty, kitty, where do we go? Just wandering down this muddy road Trying to find out our way home Little kitty, where do we go? 
This is why I can't quit my day job. Paints and chalk in the small bag. Diary in the large bag. Stuffed dog in the small bag. Photograph of Chris in the large bag. No, in the small bag. Sandra couldn't decide. Should she keep the photo of her husband? Or should Alex keep the photo of her father? Or his father? She dreaded the separation from her son. It was obviously a punishment, even though Frazier insisted it was just to help Alex develop independence and community ethics. She knew he, she was being punished for her complaints in feedback circle when she was the only one who dared to speak against butchering the community's goats. She'd seen the same thing happen to Isabel. Isabel, where is she now? She and her children got just disappeared into the woods. She set everything down, closed her eyes, massaged her temples, and wondered, not for the first time, how Frazier had consolidated so much invisible power so quickly. How had he done it? Had he, in fact, done anything at all to claim this incredible lattice of influence, or had they simply blindly given it to him? You jerks. Apparently I had to talk to everybody and read everything first. Well, the mailbox says five dogwood drive. Is there any mail in there? Like if someone wrote them a letter, or maybe their name is on it. It just showed up, the house. When? Sometime last night, I think. I've never noticed it before. Nobody lives here? Well, somebody ordered some furniture. It feels warmer in here somehow, right? Warmer and brighter. It's actually quite spacious. Yeah, you could fly a plane in here. The light in here is pretty great, actually. Yes, a good space to read a book. There's so much room, though. We could set up a whole studio. And at night, we look at the stars. I could set up a new workshop here. I could fix TVs again, or whatever people need. Hell, I could fix toasters. I'd love to perform in a place like this at sunset. I kind of feel like I'm on stage right now, actually. Know what I mean, ma'am? Yeah, but who's the audience? Everybody's leaving. We could put on a play for all the animals. I'd like to see that, haha. -ha. We saved what we could. Hey, cat, I'll race you. From here to the pile of mail, okay? Come stand here. This is the starting line. Mm -hmm. 
Ready? Get set. Go! All right. Ah, oh, it's no shame to lose. I'm a fast runner. Oh man, it's totally broken. Waterlogged tapes, they might still play, who knows? But all the VCRs are shot. I don't even know where to put all of this. I hate to call it trash. I wonder if that garbage truck still works. Nice little setup you've got. Yeah, it's all right. Many afternoons have come and gone right here. Listening to radio, taking a break from some maintenance work. How's she looking anyway? It hurts to look at, doesn't it? You hate to see such a beautiful creature in pain. Well, it's just lucky I have all the parts here. Difficult to mail order with no roads. To tell you the truth, I suspect the reason Cass never wanted any roads here was just to keep the horses safe. And now... No, miss, they don't scare me at all. If you met them, you'd feel the same way, I'm sure. There's a very old one. Nobody can quite figure her out, but I can't imagine she means any harm. I leave the radio on for her at night, somewhere between stations, so it's just hissing. She likes the hissing, I think, though I can't say why. What is it about the radio they love? They all love it. To tell you the truth, I feel a little bad I won't be here to care for them anymore. Isn't that something? I'm beginning to think I might stay here. Is that ridiculous? I'm glad to know someone will be around after we're gone. Really cool. Where did you get it? Oh, it was just in my pocket. Um, my jacket pocket. Is it special? It's exactly the one we need to play this game. 20 sides. Oh my gosh! Oh my god, I gotta pause it, you guys. Okay. First episode of this. This is why it's so important that you guys have to see, like, every episode to totally, like, it's just... This game blows my mind. The very first episode of this. Stopped at a gas station at the very beginning. Went down into this basement and there were these people playing a game with a 20-sided dice. And Conway picked up that 20-sided dice and those people disappeared. Emily, Ben, and Bob were the three people that were down there playing. And now they're coming, they're meeting Shannon after the fact, 
and getting this 20 sided dice from her. So, like, what does that mean? What does that mean? That other guy was talking about taking care of his ghosts. Was Conway like a spirit? Was he just like a ghost or something? And like, he's like popping into different points in time? It's just crazy. I don't even know. Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm more into screens, I guess. This was actually someone else's jacket. I'm sure he doesn't need that anymore. It's cool that it glows in the, in the dark. Now we just need a place dark to play, haha. My friend's uncle said we could use his basement. The gas station basement? Perfect, I'll hold on to this. Don't lose it. Oh, he's gonna lose it. I will guard it with my life. You know what, guys? I think that's gonna be, like, where I leave off for now. We'll hopefully be getting through the rest of Act 5 in my next episode. But just, like, with that kind of, like, brain teaser right there, a little scratch in the noggin, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. And... I'm just excited. Like, that's crazy. Like, I don't know how they're gonna, like, make this all loop together this way, but it's just... Oh, I love this game. <laughs> so, all right. If you haven't done it yet, you should definitely consider subscribing to the channel. It's free to me. Or... I mean, it is free to me as well, but it's free to you, which is more important for you. But it helps support me. There we go. Thumbs up, ring the bell, all that fun stuff if you want to make sure that you're getting to you're getting notified for all of these episodes and stuff as they're coming out along with other gameplays that I'm doing. That's why you ring the bell. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Till next time, Bushwookie out.